A few days ago, I came across this insane AI video on my feed. It looked pretty decent, but also terrifying. Because the first thought that hit me was, is AI about to replace video editors? I mean, I have spent years learning the skill, understanding pacing, sound, color, storytelling, and now there's a tool that can do all that in seconds. I make my living editing videos for others. A few years ago, AI felt harmless. The videos looked bad and not really something that I could utilize in client projects. But now the AI voice is getting out of hand. Brands are using AI to create ads instead of hiring real people. Freelance editors are getting fewer jobs and AI has already replaced content creators. So, are editors and designers next? That's what we'll find out in this video. Can AI actually beat a video editor or is there still something about human touch that a machine can't replicate? So today we are going to test some of the latest AI tools to see if they can create something that I can't manually create in Premiere Pro or After Effects. The first tool that I want to test is FreePix Spaces. This one's really interesting because it combines everything AI image generation, design tools and video creation all in one place. This is going to be the future of how we create AI generated content and I can bet this will become one of the most valuable skill in 2026. You can go to the new feature in FreePick called Spaces. This is what we call a node based editor. Here we'll select the text option and it will allow us to write a text prompt. Now we can simply select a new node like image generator for example. Then you can select the drop down and you'll see that you have access to all the best image models. You can now combine these nodes together and it will give you an output. Then we can start a workflow so we can go from text to image then image to video. Then we can add camera movements, transitions and more. And here we can create a complete video without ever opening any editing software. Video editing has been one of those skills which used to take years to learn and master the craft. But now because of tools like this, anyone who knows how to prompt well can create really good videos. What you'll see next has been completely created in FreePix Spaces. But we are just getting started. The next tool that I tested is VO 3.1, the latest video generation model from Google. Here you can upload three reference images and it will generate a complete talking video with perfect lip sync, sound effects and visual consistency. That means you can literally type something like create a UGC ad for a smartwatch in a modern apartment and it prints it out instantly. I tested it with few different prompts and the results were surprisingly coherent. The character movements, camera angles, even reflections all looked realistic. But it's not perfect, it will take you few tries to get something which looks natural. Still for a model which is running on just text plus some pictures, this was insanely good. Now before I show you how AI handles AI transitions like these, I want to talk about Coursera. If you have been wanting to get into AI, especially generative AI, this is the perfect time to start. Coursera has partnered with companies like Google, IBM and Microsoft to launch some of the most practical and beginner friendly AI courses for 2025. You can explore programs like Google AI Essentials, Generative AI with large language models and IBM Generative AI Engineering where you'll learn prompt engineering, build projects using real AI tools and understand how generative AI is shaping every industry. These courses are designed for everyone, whether you're a student, a creative or a professional looking to switch their careers. So if you want to start your AI journey, click the link in the description and begin learning from the best experts in the world. And big thanks to Coursera for sponsoring this video. Next, I wanted to see how AI handles transitions because that's where human editors usually shine. Smooth motion, timing and creative flow. That's what separates from beginners from pros. So I used Kling AI to generate transitions between my clips. The process was simple. Export one frame from the end of clip 1 and one from the start of clip 2. Then feed them into AI and ask it to generate a seamless transition. So after seeing these, what do you think? Can AI replace video editors? In my opinion, not yet. AI can generate, stimulate and even surprise you. But it still doesn't make you feel the way other humans do. 
It doesn't know when to hold a shot for emotion or when to cut for rhythm. It can mimic but not create with intention. That's what makes editors different. We don't just arrange videos, we create meaning. So no, AI has not beaten us yet, but it's definitely getting closer. If you're a creator or freelancer, you don't have to fear it. You just need to learn it because AI won't replace video editors, but the editors who use AI will replace the ones who don't. Check out this video to see every level of AI video editing. Make sure you subscribe.